Um, if you would like to join us, we would love to have you. 216-578-1007. 800-348-1007-35192 if you want to text. Uh, who's helping out with the video department today? Well, in honor of International Women's Day, a very, very special woman. Hmm. Hmm. I, I'm not, I don't want to mispronounce that name. What is that name? I, I believe the name is just woman. Oh, woman. Woman? Oh, woman, yeah. Woman. Okay. Woman, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, International Women's Day. It's uh, I, I'm reading it's Women's Month, you too. You didn't read her last name. Vagina Mom. <laughs> I thought perhaps they just went by Woman. No, you know, woman? like Iman, David no, uh, no. Bowie's lovely uh, widow. Nope. Woman, Vagina Mom. Uh, model of international renown, by the way. You don't see Iman pop up too often these days. But when she does, you know it's going to be something magical. Um. You know, she was in a couple of movies here and there over the years. One of my favorite movies uh, is one that she happens to be in. It's called No Way Out. Uh, it's Gene Hackman. It's Kevin Costner. It's Sean Young, uh, where Kevin Costner is a Navy man. And actually, there's a twist at the end that um, makes it very relevant to what's going on politically today. But Iman was, uh, played the roommate of a murdered woman in that movie No Way Out. Great movie. Uh, and she looks fantastic. And uh, who knows? How did I already get on an Amon tangent, Pound Cake? How did I do that? How because did I manage Woman. to do that? Because of Woman. Mm-hmm. I want to see if he was listening. I was on... I just got off the phone. Sorry. That's okay. What did they have to say? Were they wishing you a happy International Women's Day? No, they were asking, will Wilhelmina be calling today because it's International Women's Day? I oh. don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, those happen uh, without my knowledge. Uh, more importantly, they happen without my consent. Uh, so it know. was nice going down memory lane last week, though. Oh, Listen when we aired the first very call. first Wilhelmina call. Right, from 2013. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, time flies, doesn't it? it really time does. sure does fly. Jason from Lakewood wrote me, just wanted to check in and see where the gang was at with their New Year's resolutions. I remember Poundcake saying he was going to Orange Theory, but I hadn't heard any updates about that. Hate the show. I don't, um, boy, I don't make Mine? official New Year's resolutions, but I seem to remember that I was considering something that I that I might have um, framed as a New Year's resolution. Was and it I to gotta, go out to concerts more? Was that kind of it? Maybe. I mean, yeah. I am doing that. Uh, again, I don't know if that rises to the level of a New Year's resolution, but... Uh, Mine was to learn to play the kazoo. And have you learned how to play the kazoo? Not yet, Are but that's one that... Are you learning to play the kazoo? I feel kazoo? like that's one that I could get in under the wire on December 31st. Like, I don't... Oh, you're going to wait that long? I mean, I'm saying I could. Yeah. There's not a lot of pressure. That's the one clip I've got so far. (laughs) Uh, This is Bill playing the kazoo. I've played it for many, many years. That's all I've got. Has he progressed beyond that point? I don't know. I know nothing about the kazoo. I don't know if it's a... You know, it's one of those instruments that at first blush you might think, oh, that would be so easy to play. It's one note. Uh, So easy to play. But those are usually the instruments that jam you up. Those are the ones where you go, well, I had no idea uh, this was so difficult to play. No clue. You know, like a banjo. You look at a banjo and you go, how hard can that play? Yeah, banjo just, never has looked easy to play. <laughs> banjo just, looks incredibly hard to play. It is. But for the purposes of the bit, you know, okay. you uh, you put picks <laughs> on all of your fingers and you go, oh, you just move your fingers around, you know, and uh, you'll come up with a song. But uh, yes, a banjo is very difficult to play. I would say a harmonica looks like it should be easier to play, but I... I don't think I've ever seen anybody... Like, either people can play the harmonica or they can't. Mm-hmm. And most people can't. I've never seen somebody, like, start playing the harmonica and then get good over time. I just know people that can play harmonica. Oh, you've never met anybody who has uh, like, improved on the harmonica. Yes, exactly. Huh. Do they have, like, harmonica classes? I'm sure. It's on YouTube? Yeah. You can learn anything on YouTube. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I mean, I know I had... Like my little cousin growing up, she took ballet classes and piano lessons. I didn't know if there was like an actual person. Like I'm sure you, you could go. go to pay. I'm sure there's somebody, some some person around. Because what's the, city. the payoff? Ballet, you do recitals. Learning, piano, learning to do something. But it's ha- having harmonica. a new. Oh, but it's a musical instrument. You can create melody with it. It's uh, like a kazoo, as far as I'm concerned. 
It's much more complicated than the kazoo. It's one of those things, too, where if you get good at it, you'll be able to find people that need a harmonicist. <laughs> you will you'll 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 find people who there's need bands someone that need to, it there's there's you know not the kind of bands he's going to want to play in though you know it might yeah. not be a yeah, uh, i mean if you want to join a blues band if you go if you go to jail you're set well it comes in so it comes so, in handy. so handy if you're in jail. yeah you're in there yeah and you're just you gotta waiting. be able to get it though because i've like they take everything from you so you have to like actually be in jail long enough that Someone can sneak you one in. Yeah, you gotta be able to hide it somewhere, mm-hmm. and you gotta, you know, um, he, he's gonna have to hide it somewhere. But I think that if you learned the harmonica, you could really, you make some things happen. You know, so, you know that night that I was in jail, I would have loved if somebody in there knew how to play harmonica. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> telling you how you're gonna get home the next yeah. day, and Should nothing's take my money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I'm in need. When I get back to Brooklyn, I'm going to get me a Coney Island dog and... Get me a good woman. I'm going to get me a good woman. Right. There's all kinds of... Uh... This this brings me back to, like, my uncles playing the blues. Like, they've all been to jail, and so they all come out and they have, like... They're sitting on top of, like, a, a bucket in the backyard, and they're just like, you kids have no idea how good you got it. Was they... your uncle in jail in 1910? Is that what you're describing? There are probably aren't a lot of people playing harmonica sitting on buckets in prison anymore. All right? of my relatives were probably in jail at some point in history. So, at some point in history, well, then that means uh, provided uh, that today you're... it's called her three guys. <laughs> if uh... not the women, the women have been saints. <laughs> it's all the nasty pig men in my family. Yeah, but you are one of them, and if history is any guide, that means that you've got a prison stint in front of you. Nah, um, I'm gay, so I broke. I broke all, like, the rules. Yeah, no gay guys in prison. Anywho, uh, <laughs> how about some canned heat, right? Forget the awful, awful singer in this band. Just focus on the... You don't what like the har- <laughs> a- angelic voice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going up the country. Uh, listen, you uh, just focus on the lulling noises I wonder if when the they were recording this, they're like... Like, he started off, like, all bluesy, is like doing like a nice deep raspy voice and they're like could you make it sound like you're prepubescent a little bit we need you to sound a little bit younger we're trying mm. we're a guy a dude band mm. we're trying to attract chick fans mm-hmm. all right <laughs> and if they hear you sound like one of them now is that a song where if we sing along we could actually improve it no i feel like we might There is no finer uh, bit in rock and roll than a harmonicaist <laughs> pretending to be a train, like the great Blackfoot from Jacksonville, Florida, or Aerosmith. Me. She'll learn to do this. If I can learn to do it on a kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> You'll pass out, but yeah, you could learn to do it on a kazoo, and then you could sit by a train track. Oh, what a great song. Literally called Train Train by the great Blackfoot. Yeah! I got to take a break. You want to get a text for something? 35192. AlanCockShow.com for all the other stuff, and we'll be back.